Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure awaits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure awaits when you're with Glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Oh no! Looks like Princess P has a problem. Come on! Peter Piper, over here! Oh, I did it! Bye! Ahoy! Steer the ship and lower the anchor! Shiver me timber! Hi, Princess P. What's going on? Well, I'm trying to get the three little pigs to have a tea party with me. See? My tea party is all ready! The treasure chest. Little pigs! Would you like to have some tea with me? Tea? No tea for pirates. Ahoy, matey! We're pirates, and we're sailing the high seas. Looking for treasure. Come on, Princess P, let's play. Ahoy! But I've never played pirates before. I always play tea party. Delicious! Arr! Come on, Princess P, play pirates with us. But I don't want to play pirates. This sounds like a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers! We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers! Calling all Super Readers! To the book club! To the book club! Come on, to the book club! Wyatt here. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. And together, we will solve Princess P's problem. Let's go! Okay, Princess P, state your problem. The three pigs want me to play pirates, but I don't want to. I've never played pirates before. Aww. What should I do if I don't want to play something else? Good question. When we have a question, we look... In, in a, a book. book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Sleeping Beauty. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Princess P's question. First, we look for super letters. 
and then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Hmm, looks like in this story, we need to find 12 super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! rescue. to read. And Super U with the power to help. Together we are the Super Readers! Why Flyers? We're ready to fly into this book. Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly with the Super Readers Cause we've got a problem to solve Super Readers to the rescue Super Readers working together with powers to read In the books we fly to find the Super Story answer It's Super Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight! Read with me. Sleeping Beauty loved to sleep. I just love to sleep. The prince wanted her to go to his soccer party. Will you come to my soccer party? Sleeping Beauty did not want to go. Soccer? I've never played soccer before. No thanks. I'd rather just sleep like I always do. That's just like me. I'd rather have a tea party like I always do. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. Sleeping Beauty and Princess both want to do the same things they always do. We need to see what Sleeping Beauty does about the prince's soccer party. Hmm. It sounds like Sleeping Beauty. To Sleeping Beauty, let's roll. It's Sleeping Beauty, all right. Yeah, we need to wake her up. Uh, Sleeping Beauty? Sleeping Beauty? She's not waking up. What do we do? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tools, I can find something that will wake her up. What letter is this? L! An L. Which word starts with a letter L? Lamp. Lamp starts with the L. Maybe turning on a lamp will wake Sleeping Beauty up. <laughs> turning on the lamp didn't work. She's still sleeping. Hmm. 
What letter is this? R. R. Which word starts with the letter R? Radio. Radio begins with the letter R. Will a radio wake Sleeping Beauty up? Let's turn it on and see. <laughs> nope, still sleeping. Let's try something else to wake her up. What's this letter? D. D. Now, what here starts with the letter D? Dog. A dog? Oh, yeah, there's a dog. And dog starts with D. Maybe the dog can wake Sleeping Beauty up. Wake her up, doggy. <laughs> Hey, Pillow, my doggy. <laughs> Lickety letters. We used our alphabet and got Pillow the dog to wake up Sleeping Beauty. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. <laughs> Hooray! Remember to look for super letters. Stop tickling me. You see super letters? What letters did you find? N G S. N G and S? Awesome! We need to put them in our super duper computer! Nine more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. We're the super readers, and we want to talk to you about the princess soccer party. <gasps> oh, no. I'm not going. I've never played soccer before, so I don't want to go. I'm just going to sleep. I love to sleep. Nighty night. But wait! If you never did anything new, you'd miss out on so many great things, like skating. Nice! Uh, no thanks. What about twirling? It's so much fun to twirl! Twirl! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that does look like fun, but I've never twirled either, so no. I really just want to sleep. I am Sleeping Beauty, you know. Nighty night. Double drats asleep again. I've got an idea. Let's try to get her outside. Then she'll have to try something new. Perfect. Come on, Sleeping Beauty. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh -oh. She's sleeping again! Boy, is she a good sleeper. How are we gonna wake her up now? <sighs> Wonder Rat to the rescue! With my Wonder Words basket, I can find something that will wake Sleeping Beauty up. How about this word? Ooh, it's an L word. I just love L words. L tell yell. Wonderific, your terrific bell. Sell well. Wonderific, your terrific L. Read it with me. What letter is this? Hmm. Why? Why? What sound does wine make? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we know what this says. L. Yeah, L. What word is this? Yo. Yo. 
We can yell for Sleeping Beauty to wake up. Yell with me. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Hmm. Maybe we need another L word. What letter is this? B. B. What sound does B make? Hmm. B. 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 And this part says L. B. L. B. L. What word is this? Bell. Bell. Let's see what happens when we change yell to bell. We can ring a bell to wake up Sleeping Beauty. Oh, good morning. Wonderific! You are terrific. We use the word bell to wake up Sleeping Beauty. You want to sleep again, silly? In the flowers. Well, it is a flower. Bed. <laughs> <laughs> I do love to sleep, you know. We know. Oh, we know. You see super letters? Which ones? N W R T. N W R and T. Okay. Let's put them in our super duper computer. computer. Five more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. This is awesome. Look, the soccer party is starting. You don't want to miss it, do you? I told you. I've never been to a soccer party before, so I don't want to go. Maybe if you try it, you'll love it. <laughs> it does sound fun, but I only love to do one thing. Sleep. It says so in my story. See? Sleeping Beauty loves to sleep. Just like this. <sighs> Sleeping Beauty? Sleeping Beauty. Split P. She's sleeping again. How will we ever get her to do something else? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Hmm. I know. Let's add a word to the sentence so Sleeping Beauty can do other things besides sleep. Why, writer? Right. Okay, super readers. Which word will help add things for Sleeping Beauty to do? Or, and, or not? Hmm. How about and? Which is the word and? That one! That's the word, and... Okay, let's zap the word and into the sentence and see what happens. Ready, set, zap! Now, let's read. Sleeping Beauty loves to sleep, and... Let's think of another thing for her to do. Hmm. How about sing? Ready, set, zap! Let's read. Sleeping Beauty loves to sleep and sing. Me, 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 me. Hey, singing is great. I think I like sleeping and singing. Sleeping Beauty is trying new things. Hey, let's zap the word and again. Ready, set, zap! Hmm. What else would she love to do? Maybe run. 
Ready, set, zap! Let's read. Sleeping Beauty loves to sleep. And sing. La 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 la. And run! <laughs> Running is fun, too. You know what? There are so many fun things to do. I just never tried them before. Super job, Super Readers! We changed the story, and now Sleeping Beauty likes to do all kinds of new things. Sleeping Beauty loves to sing. Whoa! Hey, Sleeping Beauty, heads up! <laughs> Whoa, nice kick. You know? I think I might like playing soccer, too. And going to a soccer party. Here, Sleeping Beauty. I'm coming! Thank you, Super Readers. You found more Super Letters? Which ones? H. I. T. D. Y. H, I, T, E, and Y? Let's put them in our super duper computer! We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. I love soccer. <laughs> Bye, super readers. Bye. Goodbye, Sleeping Beauty. Why flyers? Back to the book club. We found the super story answer with super why. Super duper computer. Give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. T, R, Y, N, E, W, T, H, I, N, G, S. Try new things. Our super story answer is, try new things. But why? Because when Sleeping Beauty tried new things, she learned there are lots of things she liked to do. So my question is, what should I do if I don't want to play something I've never played before? And the answer is, Try new things. I see. Maybe instead of playing tea party like I always do, I should try a new thing. Come with me. Ahoy, matey! Are you going to open the treasure chest with us, or are you still playing tea party? You know what? I do love my tea parties, but I've never played pirates before. And I want to try a new thing. So yes, I will play. Cool! Hey, you mean, arr! All right. You make an excellent pirate, Princess B. Let's sail the high seas in search of treasure. Arr! Hip hip hooray! The super readers save the day! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The Super Reader saved the day. We changed the story. We solved the problem. We went together, so hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The Super Reader saved the day. Hip, hip, hooray!
Hi, so glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Oh, there's our friend Red at her grandma's house. Come on. Hi, Wolfie. Ugh. Hi, Red. <gasps> wow, you're great with that soccer ball. Want to play together? Okay, sure, Wyatt. Let me go tell my grandma. I need orange juice. Grandma? Oh, I better get some. Grandma. Wyatt's here and we're gonna play, okay? All right, dear. Oh, my. I'm out of milk and eggs and bread. I better write this down. Red, dearie, do you think you could get me a piece of paper? Oh, I'll be right back. Hmm. What's a pizza paper? Wyatt, Grandma wants me to get her a pizza paper. What's a pizza paper? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to look for. Hmm. This sounds like a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers! To the book club! <laughs> to the book club! Come on, to the book club! Wyatt here. P is for pig! Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve Red's problem. Let's go. Okay, Red, state your problem. Well, my grandma asked me to find her a pizza paper. What's a pizza paper? That's just it. I don't know. What should I do if I'm not sure what my grandma said? Good question. When we have a question, we look... In a book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. One Bobo and the Pig. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Red's question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Wow, in this story, we need 12 super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! rescue. Alpha Pig with Alphabet! 
Jet Power! Wonder Red! With Word Power! Princess Presto! With Spelling Power! Super Y! With the power to read! And Super U with the power to help. Together we are the Super Readers! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly! With the Super Readers, cause we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers, to the rescue! Super Readers, working together with powers to read. In the books we fly, to find a super story. Answer it super wide. Super Readers, to the rescue! We're in the book Juan, Bobo, and the Pig. Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight! Read with me. Mama wanted Juan, Bobo to take their pig to an address in town. Juan, Bobo, I need you to take our pig to this address. 123 Maple Street. Juan Bobo thought Mama said, take the pig to get a dress. Take the pig to get a dress? Hmm. Juan Bobo was confused. I think my Mama said to take the pig to get a dress, but I'm not sure. Oh well, come on, Piggy. Off to the dress shop to get you a dress. <laughs> Juan Bobo thinks his pig needs a dress. He isn't sure what his mama said. <gasps> That's just like me. I'm not sure what my grandma said. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. We need to find out what Juan Bobo does when he isn't sure what his mama said. To the dress shop to find Juan Bobo. Let's roll. Oh, a flower shop. A barber shop. A flower shop? A barber shop? I don't see a dress shop. There are so many shops on these streets. How will we find the dress shop? With my amazing alphabet map, I can find the way to the dress shop. First, we need to find K Street. Hmm, which one is K Street? That one! There it is, K Street. Let's go! Okay, let's see. B Street comes next. Let's see. Where's B Street? There! That's it, B Street. Come on! Now we need D Street. Dress shop starts with D. Hmm, which of these is D Street? That one! There's D Street! And there's the dress shop! Lickety letters! We followed the map to the dress shop. And there's one Bobo and his pig! Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. 
Remember to look for super letters. Ooh, shall we go in? Yeah, yeah let's go in. You see super letters? Which letters did you find? K, Q, and T? Good work! We need to put them in our super duper computer! computer. Eight more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers! One Bobo. We're the Super Readers, and we want to talk to you. Hola, Super Readers. I'm taking my pig to get a dress, just like Mama said. <laughs> Hello? Okay. For me? Oh. Hello? One Bobo, it's Mama. I'm standing here at the address. One, two, three Maple Street? I'm waiting for you. Don't worry, Mama. I took the pig to get a dress, and I'll see you soon. Whoa! What? You took the pig to get a dress? Ah! The pig needs me. Gotta go. Here you go, Piggy. Let's get you into a dress. You've got to... What? Stay still, Piggy, while I help you. Whoa! Ah. Oh, ouch! <laughs> oh, my peas! Here, let me help you. <laughs> Voila! <gasps> you finally! Mama will be so happy to see the pig in a dress. Just like she wanted. Oh, wait! It just needs a little glitter! <laughs> Piggy, where are you going? Come back! After that pig, let's roll! Piggy! Oh no! She's stuck! How can we get her out of the mud? Cue the sparkles! Cue the music! Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word stick to pull the pig out of the mud. Wands up, spell with me. What letter makes the sound S? S. S. Write a lowercase s with me, like a little snake. <laughs> S. Now, what letter makes the sound t t t? T! T! Let's write a lowercase t. <laughs> Terrific t! Now, what letter makes the sound i, i, i? Hmm. I. Let's write a lowercase i. Nice i. <gasps> now, in the word stick, what two letters make the sound k? k? C K. It's the letters C and K. First, let's write a lowercase c. Now let's write a lowercase k. K. S T I C K. Stick. Presto. Spectacular spelling. We spelled stick. And now we can get the pig out of the mud! <laughs> oh, 
Let's take a bow. Okay, everybody, grab on. Ready, set, pull! Mm. Oh my chinny chin chin! She's really stuck! Help us pull! She's almost out! Ooh, super duper! Super letters? What letters did you find? A E S O. A E S and O. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Four more super letters, and then we'll get. Our super story answer. <sighs> Look at you, Piggy. You're all dirty. Whoa, whoa. Well, at least you've got your dress, just like Mama said. Juan Bobo, are you sure you're supposed to put the pig in a dress? Well, that's what I heard Mama say. It's in my story. See? Juan Bobo heard Mama say a dress. See, a dress. I don't know. Something doesn't seem right about this. Maybe I heard her wrong? Oh no! What should I do? Super wide to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Maybe Mama didn't say the word dress. Let's change the words address in this sentence. Zap! Why, writer? Right! Super readers, where did Mama say to take the pig? A wig? A dress? Or address? Let's try address, which is the word address. It has two D's. That one! There! Let's zap the word address into the sentence. Zap! Let's read. Juan Bobo heard Mama say address. So, Juan Bobo, are you ready to take the pig to the address? Address? Mama, I have a question. Did you say address or address? I said address. I said, Juan Bobo, I need you to take the pig to this address, 123 Maple Street. It's the address of the town fair. Did you think I said address? Yeah, I thought you wanted me to take the pig to get a dress. <laughs> oh, one Bobo. When you aren't sure about something, you should always ask questions, like you just did. <laughs> Trust me, from now on, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one Bobo. Mama, I have another question. Yes, Juan Bobo? Why are we taking the pig to this address? Well, we're going to enter her in the best pig contest. You see more super letters? What letters did you find? U-I-N. All right, let's put them in our super duper computer. computer! 
We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. <laughs> the pig won the contest. Thanks for everything, super readers. You're welcome, Juan Bobo. Bye. 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 Why flyers? Back to the book club. We found the super story answer with super Y. <laughs> Super computer! Give us our super story answer! Read the letters with me. A, S, K, Q, U, E, S, T, I, O, N, S. Ask. Questions. The super story answer is ask questions. But why? Juan Bobo needed to ask questions since he wasn't sure what his mama said. So my question is what should I do if I'm not sure what my grandma said? And the answer is... Ask, ask questions. questions! Yeah. I'm not sure what my grandma said. I think she said pizza paper. But it sounds funny. So I need to ask questions to find out what she needs. Thank you, Super Readers. Come on. Grandma, I need to ask you a question. Yes, dear. What was it that you wanted me to get for you again? I need a piece of paper, dear, for my grocery list. A piece of paper? Yes, a piece of paper. Oh, that makes sense. I thought you said a pizza paper. Pizza paper? Goodness. What's a pizza paper? I wasn't sure. But now I know to ask questions when I'm not sure what you said. Here you go, a piece of paper. Thanks, Red. Wyatt, I asked questions and Grandma told me what she meant. A piece of paper. Hip hip hooray! The super reader saved the day! Hip hip hooray! Hooray! The super reader saved the day! We solved the problem. We went together, so hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! hooray. The super reader saved.